Hello there guys, it's me and Stable Voltage, and welcome back to a brand new series of Sid Meier's Civilization 6. It's been a little while since I've played any Civilization of any description, but as it's been a year since Civilization 6 came out, I thought I'd go back and revisit it. Still not exactly sure where I stand on Civilization 6. I do enjoy playing the game, and I have done every game of it I have played, and I do like some of the additions that it has over Civ 5. I like the fact that Firaxis have tried to uh, make the religious game more interesting than it was in Civilization 5, uh, even though it's still not perfect, although at the time of recording this there is a Fall 2017 patch due, which I don't believe is out yet, and that is supposed to actually change the religious game up a little bit. I like the district system, I think that's the single um, most interesting and best uh, addition to Civilization 6. Uh, I like the agenda system in principle, I just wish it worked a little bit better and that the AI wasn't quite as bad as it is, but anyway I thought I'd jump in and give the game another the game. So I'm going to go ahead and create a game and I've decided that I'm going to go and play as a Manatore of the of Nubia because it's one of the new DLC civilizations that I haven't played before. So basically our leader's unique ability is 20% extra production towards all districts rising to 40% if there is a Nubian pyramid adjacent to the city centre. That is our unique improvement. Our uh, national uh, unique ability is 50% production towards ranged units and all ranged units gain 50% combat experience. Mines over strategic resources give us an extra production and mines over bonus and luxury resources give us two extra gold. Our unique unit is the um, Pitati Archer. It's a unique ancient era unit that replaces the Archer. It's stronger than the Archer with extra movement and it upgrades straight to the Crossbowman. And then there's our unique improvement which is the Nubian Pyramid. So basically it's unlocked with masonry. It's got to be built on a desert, desert hills or floodplains. Gives us plus one faith and receives additional yields from adjacent districts. Plus one food if it's adjacent to the city centre, and for all of the districts that award adjacency bonuses, plus one to the appropriate yield of that district's adjacency. So that's who we're going to go ahead and play as a mandatory. I'm going to go and play on King. I don't want to go too hard because, like I said, it has been a while since I've played. Uh, I'm going to go with Fractal because I always just find that it's much more interesting. Or should we just go for Shuffle? Let's just go for Shuffle. Why not? And we'll go for a standard size map as well. Just quickly make sure we've only got eight players. Yes, we have. And let's go and start the game. Everything else is pretty much on standard at this point. From the first stirrings of life beneath water, and I'm probably just going to go ahead and talk right over the top of Sean Bean because I'm sure we've all heard this um, speech a million times before. So I don't know whether or not I'm going to win or lose this game. I'm only playing on King so a win shouldn't be too difficult but like I said I do have a fair bit of rust to shake off. I'm wondering if they will ever actually release any expansion packs for Civilization 6, and if they do, will they get it to the point that Civilization 5 was at by the end of Brave New World? Okay, so let's have a look here. Well, we don't have a river. It looks like we've got a double coast. Unfortunately, we don't have anywhere we could settle a canal city. So I think we're just going to go ahead and settle right in place. We do have a little defensive cove here. Let's just go ahead and look out with our warrior first. Um, I've just realised I had to reinstall because of some previous issues. Let's just go ahead and turn on quick movement. Uh, I'll leave on normal combat, but... Did I not just turn on quick movement? Did I just completely miss doing that? Quick movement enabled, confirm. There we go. I didn't hit confirm. That was the problem. So you guys are definitely going to go and settle right where you are. So let's found our city here. And our city is uh, Mero. Mero, eh? Let's choose our research, and we'll probably want to go straight for pottery to get the granary. It's now working now. I couldn't click on those before, so the reinstall definitely helped. Uh, let's go and choose our production. Let's get a scout out straight away, and as usual, we want to go ahead and make sure we are working probably more food than production, actually, at this point, just to try and get up to that two pop a little bit quicker. 14 turns. It's going to be 14 turns whichever way we go, so we'll just stick with the extra production in that case. So let's go ahead and do that. On to the next turn. There we go, fast movement is working. We've already found a barbarian scout and a barbarian camp, which is annoying. But maybe we can kill them off before they have a chance to really find us. Keep the scout moving away from us where we can. Can we just clear the camp? I mean, we would get a minor victory here. We'll probably have to heal up a couple of times, but if we can clear these camps out nice and early, it'll really work out well for us. Let's go straight on to the next turn. We'll probably send our scout off in the opposite direction. Uh, this would be a stalemate, so we'll attack once more and then heal up. 
I don't think they can kill me off, so we should be all right. On to the next turn. They might come out and try and attack. No, they didn't. So we'll just go ahead and, and heal up. One more turn, we get our scout. Excellent. So you're going to start by moving off in this direction. And we've got a goodie hook. Fantastic. Let's go ahead and get ourselves a slinger. As we get that extra production towards, rain, towards ranged units, we probably want to get that out, those out as quick as possible. And we have a great work. Blood of the Martyr. So we've got a religious relic already. That's quite nice. Oh, got some extra movement for you there that I failed to use. Never mind. Looks like we're on quite a, a thin and small piece of land here, so that might make things interesting for us. We have our slinger. Let's get them moved down here to help out as quick as possible. And I think we're just going to go straight into a second slinger and then work on the monument. So let's keep having a look around with you. Definitely an interesting looking map. That's why I like doing shuffle. They're just more interesting. And Clay must feel happy in the good pot there's pottery done. We've also met Antenna and Revo. They are right up there. So what do we want to go for now? Uh, mining. We will have some stone nearby. Animal husbandry. I'm not too sure we need any of this. We could just go for mining. We've already got a bonus to sailing. Which I guess we could do because then we could get the fish. It's not a bad idea. Let's go and go into sailing. Uh, we'll go down here with you guys a little. And then we might head back up and just look over here. Right, so it looks like Antan and Arivo might be trying to get involved with this. I don't want Antan and Arivo to end up taking them, so if they attack, they will probably lose. Um, City-state quest. What is your quest for us? It is to trigger an inspiration for early empire. Okay, not a problem. Let's just go down here. No more goody huts, unfortunately. Yeah, I'm not going to attack on this turn. We are at full health, but if I attack them, Antan and Arivo could move in and take the prize. So we're just going to fortify up. Yep, yeah, they are attacking. Hopefully they won't be able to kill them. And indeed they didn't, so we can finish them off and clear the camp. Get the bonus for ourselves. That's what I was waiting for. Excellent. Gives us a boost towards military tradition. And we might as well use these... Uh, Guys, just to do a little bit of scouting. So let's go ahead and get the monument done so we can start expanding our borders. And we have met Poland. Okie dokie. So, uh, yes, it's an honor to meet you. Let's sample your hospitality. You're down there, right? Okay, at least we know where you are. We've got a boost to writing. Let's go and move over in this direction. Tech boost. This is a new icon. So there, ha there has been a uh, civic boost. Yeah, these never used to appear before. So there's definitely been some changes to the game since I last played. That is best. Code of that laws is, best. is done. Right, okay. So let's go ahead and get combat experience when fighting barbarians. And we would like to get the faith and gold, to be honest. It's always nice to try and rush and beat the AI to getting a... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Pantheon. And let's have a look around with you. Let's go this way. Ah! Alexander. Maybe it's Maybelline. Um, I haven't actually played this game since Alexander was added. So that is uh, new to me. So you're down here somewhere, are you? Ah, goody hook. Well, we'll definitely have that. Thank you very much. So there's some more gold. And we'll start heading back up with you. Would you need to choose a new Civic? Um, we have a boost to both of the... No, can be boosted. Improve three tiles. Well, that's probably not going to happen anytime soon. So let's go and work on that one. Choose a Pantheon already. Excellent. So let's just have a quick look around and see where our capital is. Mm, got a few hills around. Not many resources. We've got a fair bit of wheat. That could be useful. Production towards wonders. Production from fishing boats, camps, mines over strategic resources. Production towards units. We could just go and get straight up 10% growth rate. Um, actually, no, let's get the border growth. I've always liked the border growth. Let's get that one. There's nothing that's going to be particularly 
highly beneficial to us. There are some horses up there. We might have something up here we can grab. Do you still have a scout? And we've met Cleopatra. With her sausage fingers. So, let's go ahead and see where you are. Right, let's start moving back up this way. Ah, goody hut. Excellent. Might be something else up there. Now then, let's head this way a little. We're probably just going to head back up here in case there's something we've missed, which there probably is. Unit has a promotion, which is you, but I've used all of your movement on this turn, so I can't give it to you. So let's go ahead and give you that promotion right now. Um, both of these are really, really good, especially if you want to attack cities nice and early on. Combat strength when defending against ranged attacks is very useful. But in the early days, we're probably mainly going to be dealing with barbarians, so that's what we will do. Um, boost towards archery, very nice. So you go up there, and we'll, we'll sort of bring you home to defend. Okay, let's start getting you back home. So we do want to try and get archery as quickly as we can. Might be something good up in this corner that we haven't found yet. You just want to get back home. Krakow already got their second city. Not an awful lot going on down here. We've met v um, Valletta. They want us to train a galley. Well, it could happen. It's certainly not out of the question. It is not that life ashore is distant. So we can actually train a galley. Uh, you're heading down towards Egypt, which you probably don't want to do. Okay, choose a research. What could we do now? We could get writing. We've got a boost to writing. And staying ahead in tech is always a very, very good thing to do. And let's just go and have a quick look at our population, because our population is only at two, and we're getting no growth, and I hadn't noticed that. So we don't want purchase Tylon. We want to be working something that gives us more food, this one. And we also want to get a fishing boat out as quickly as possible. So you're going to stay there. And you can sort of move north a little bit. There might be some stuff up here we can grab. And let's have a look if you've got any goody huts. I don't think... I'm not sure if city-states could grab goody huts. I don't think that they can. Now, a settler would be good, but so would a granary. Uh, can't get... Um, do we want to build a builder, or do we want a granary? Let's get the builder out first. Because then we can start getting some of this wheat done. Uh, or can we just straight up buy a builder? It might be a better option, actually. Um, 200 gold. No, we can't quite afford it on this turn. But having a second build is not a bad idea anyway. Yeah, you just get up here. We'll certainly have enough for the builders to do. So I'm not too concerned about that. Might start bringing you home as well. I don't think we're going to have many barbarians around. And I will want to upgrade my archers and stuff. So, well, upgrade my slingers to archers. So how is everything up here? Should we say it looks good? Yeah, well, we want to bring you guys home as quickly as possible. Do I really want to just purchase a builder? I don't think I do. I think I'll save the money. We've only got three turns, so that should be fine. Yep, you guys need to come home. You guys can come home along that way. So we can see if there's any goody huts that have been missed. Without craftsmanship. There's craftsmanship done. We've already got our Pantheon, so we probably want to go towards... Um, uh, we, we are working on builders, so we could go ahead and get that. But I think just the straight-up production is going to be better. Production towards units. Yeah, we're not really fighting a lot of barbarians at the moment, so let's go ahead and do that. And then we will start working on... Let's work on military tradition, actually, because we've got the boost there. So, you guys start coming home. And we found a barbarian camp, which won't be a problem to deal with. We'll just send you out to do it. What's your problem, dude? Not too sure what, what this guy's got going on. But this is the agenda system again. 
Oh, he seems to be friendly. But yeah, the agenda system's often confusing as to exactly what's happening. Okay, so let's go ahead and start working on some farms here. And that gives us a boost as well. Let's start working you over there and look for some more goody huts. Okay, change production. Let's go ahead and start working. Well, we lo actually, we lose our population if we start working on, on a settler, don't we? So let's go ahead and um, work on the granary instead. Do we not have the ability to queue anymore, or did we never have the ability to queue? I used to use a mod for this. Change overlay production. Um, is there no queue option? That must have been the mod that I was using. But that mod doesn't work with the current build. And I don't want to mess around with mods because obviously there's an ex there's a, a patch coming out for the game. And then that'll break the mod anyway. So Cleopatra doesn't like me because my army's weak. And she's certainly not wrong. Okay, there's writing done. That's great. You guys should be heading back home as quickly as you can. So let's try and do that. Um, you can go and attack those guys. You might even finish them off. Let's go and get ourselves as many of these as we can. And we'll keep exploring with you. We'll go this way because I want to sort of keep my eye on that camp if possible. Animal husbandry could be useful. What have we got nearby? We will have some stone, so mining would be useful. Let's go ahead and work on that one. Oh, we're actually... No, you're getting attacked by who now? China. Okay, so China's up here. You guys are going to struggle a little bit. There's China. Okay, so we've already met quite a few people so far. We've met, uh, we've met four... So there's only three people left to find. Uh, you can't attack on this turn, which is unfortunate. You guys can... Right, there's China. China have a settler up there. Excellent. You're going to go ahead and work on that. Now let's have a quick look and see what tiles we are now working. So yeah, we're locking in those food and production. And then we'll probably want to get on that tile as well. We will want to get another builder because we'll want to get the... Um, you're getting a little bit close over here with Bravery. that uh, He's being the only one that guy. Knows you're afraid. Military tradition is done. Uh, don't think we need to change any of those. I am a little bit concerned with um, China coming down here with that settler, to be honest. But if there's ever a time it's worth attacking... It'd be now. Let's bring you back down here. I'm just a little bit concerned that they're going to try and set up that other settler close to me. Which is something I'm really not keen on them doing. You've already got a, a level up. Uh, let's go and we might as well start work on foreign trade. We're probably not going to get that bonus. And you guys can go over here and get that as well. Let's go on to the next turn and see what happens. Right, you can clear the camp out, which is excellent. Yeah, you guys are getting a little bit too close, and I don't like that. We might be able to finish you off. No, I cannot. Oh, well, we'll, just, we'll do the damage anyway for the XP, even if China ends up finishing them off. I mean, that'll mean that China takes some damage, but that might not be a bad thing. So let's bring you home. Oh, you're actually attacking me. That's unfortunate. We do get a promotion, though, which is nice. Or we could just finish them off. I say we just finish them off and then take the promotion. Um, you can come back down here. We can't promote you yet. Let's get you over and have a look where China might be. Yeah, we can't use that promotion. Ah, you're attacking somebody up there. Was that a barbarian scout, possibly? Let's get you a promotion. 
Still didn't get you quite to full health, did it? Right, let's get you over here. And we can put you there and potentially block some units. What have we got? You need to come home as well. We certainly do need some more military units. Now, you haven't settled that city yet, but I've got a feeling you're going to. And in the midst of this solitude. So there's a wonder there. So that's why you're thinking of setting up a... Uh, that's why you're thinking of setting up a city here, isn't it? Choose a production. What what did we just do? Do we want to get a campus first? Or do we want to get a settler? I think we probably need to work on a settler as soon as possible. Who deserves more credit than There's mining done. With mining done, let's move on to animal husbandry. You too have a promotion. Faster movement on the hills, I think. There's quite a few of those around. Got no movement left. Let's keep you guys there. I'm not sure where they're going to try and set that city up. Hoping they keep it away from me, but you never know. Right, let's put you guys in there. Love to get you guys promoted, but I don't think that's going to happen. Might be trying to settle over here. There's foreign trade done. That was nice and quick. Some of these would be useful, but I think we at the moment we just need to get the next the next policy really. So let's start working towards early empire. Uh, we've increased our trade route capacity. You need orders, so let's move you over there. Yeah, if they, if they settle right there, that's going to be a pain. But no, they're actually backing off now, which is interesting. So what I can try and do is sort of block them in so they can't get through, but I'm not entirely certain that's going to work. Let's skip the turn. Right, now we can do that. So let's go ahead and just put that scout there. That blocks them in, essentially. So we could even go and put a city there ourselves. Now, that'll probably really, really upset China. In fact, I expect it to. Right, we've automatically gone on to the religious map, have we? Choose production. Another settler could be useful, but let's go ahead and get the trader first. Um, why am I on the religious map? Oh no, is it the settler map? It's the settler map that I'm on. There we go. Right, let's start getting you guys over there. Stonehenge has been completed by Poland. That was quick. If there are no dogs in heaven, there's animal husbandry done. And we are going to pick up archery as quick as possible. And we are going to start moving this way. And we're going to try and settle on that tile there if we get the opportunity. Oh no, they can't. They've settled right there. That's annoying. We might settle here. Uh, what, do we, what do we have here? Uh, naval combat units that enter adjacent plots are granted their next promotion. So, yeah, we might want to settle on, on that. And there's also some desert down there that we could use as well. But that's all the movement I can do on this turn. So I'm going to end the video here. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. I hope you are going to enjoy this series of uh, Civilization VI. I almost forgot what I was playing there. And I will see you guys next time. So until then, goodbye for now.